VPA stands for Virtual Prototype Assembly, and we consider that to be actually the process implementation of virtual prototyping. So virtual prototyping is a big industry trend in automotive. People want to step away from physical prototypes and essentially replace them by component prototypes that are characterized either using test-based methods or CAE-based methods, and then virtually assembling those components to build a digital twin of the full vehicle and evaluate its MVH performance. We have presentations given by different people, different experts on theory and practice. And to put things into practice, we also have workshops um, with hands-on where we show do's and don'ts, explain how to apply the technology in practice. And we also, during breaks, lunches, evening, want to make it a great networking event where we all share experiences. Component-based TPA is a technology that powers all of this capability and coming back to virtual prototype assembly is essentially the process to implementing that across the entire automotive industry and across companies and teams and because this process involves many different people to be involved from test CAE but also external suppliers can be providing the data in order to make this kind of prediction. To get an insight in most state-of-the-art methods and I think I'm overwhelmed of the complexity and the quality of tools that is provided today. To get more hands-on information so on one side, um, tricks and small uh, efficiency that I get inspired and in doing things a bit faster, a bit more easy. Uh, and on the other side, to get an overview over the, the theory and, and how uh, Siemens is seeing this theory in and implementing it in its software. Because I have started working with the blog post and I had done something before, but I wanted to have a more depth knowledge, what are the current practices and how much uh, Siemens has developed in this uh, direction, because I know that Siemens has worked quite a lot in this, uh, on this topic. I think what I like most, beside all the technical content, is uh, networking with the different participants. You get a nice mixture of OEM opinions and supply opinions, which is quite unique. And the most unique thing, I think, is that you're gathering the global expert of transfer path analysis, which otherwise at international conference is not given per se. The, the theory, and on the day two and day three, um, the most important for me was the workshops. I get some inspiration about how, how I um, could maybe apply some tricks, doing things better. And also we got this, this overview on how, how Siemens is implementing component-based PPA in its software. I would highly recommend people who didn't have the chance to participate try to get your hands on one of the sessions. And I would envision hope that this is a regular event in the future. <laughs>